Hello, my name is Hung Bui, an application engineer at Nordic Semiconductor. Today I'm going to have a quick tutorial about the NF sniffer, a very powerful tool for verification and debugging. So you are developing a Bluetooth Low Energy application, and at some point your device doesn't work like what you want, and you may want to have a deeper look into lower level to see what actually went wrong. If it's a wired connection like I2C, UART, SPI, you can always hook up a logic analyzer to see what actually happened over the transmission line. But here is the wireless communication. So how could you capture the package over the air? At Nordic, we provide a tool to do that. It's an NF sniffer. Let's assume that here is your application. You have the peripheral, such as this prototype or this proximity tag. And you have a central device like this phone. And you want to listen to the communication between them. What would you need to have is a uh, NF Field 1 Evolution Kit or the PC10000 dongle. To get started, you just have to plug the Evolution Kit into the USB port and then leave them in between the central device and the peripheral, like this. So after you have the hardware set up, you can download the sniffer software from our website. You can type in the search bar to look for it. And you may need the product key from the NF Field 1 Evaluation Kit or Development Kit to be able to download the software. And you can follow the instruction in the user guide to download and install the prerequisite software such as NF Pro Studio, the NF Tools, and Wireshark. I already installed the software. Now I can plug the dongle in and start the sniffer console. When the sniffer console starts, we will search for the sniffer dongle. On the first run, we will need to program the dongle with the dongle firmware, and we do that by pressing Ctrl R. After programming is done, the sniffer should be able to detect the dongle automatically. If it couldn't, you may need to unplug and plug the dongle back again. Then the sniffers will start capturing advertising packets and display a list of peripherals that are advertising. In my case here, I have five devices that are advertising. And you can find up here, you have a list of commands that you can use with the sniffer console. Next step is to display the advertising packets. We'll use Wireshark, a free tool from Wireshark.org for this purpose. To start Wireshark, we can press W. Wireshark will be open and start displaying advertising packets from all advertisers. And if you click on a package, you can see the detail of the package. The sniffer software installed the Wireshark plugin so that we can analyze the Bluetooth Low Energy package. And you can always stop and then save the chase if you need. Next step is to track a connection. I will close Wireshark and go back to the sniffer console. Now we will try to track the connection between the Nordic HRM sensor that I have here and my phone. I can either use the arrow button to select or just press 0. And I will start Wireshark again. And you can see that it's only packets from and to the device that I'm tracking is displaying. Now I will start the connection from the phone. And you can see that uh, the device is no longer advertising and the connection has been established. However, there's a lot of empty connection events package that may make it hard to find the more important and meaningful package. So we can use a filter to clean out the empty package. You can just type here and press enter. And you can see that all the empty packets has been cleaned out and we can see more meaningful packets. Up here is the survey discovery process and down here is a notification that the sensor is sending to my phone. This package sniffing and tracking is very very useful for debugging and troubleshooting BLE application. And not only the open connection can be tracked but also the encrypted connection. I can quickly show you now. Now I'm trying to start a pairing process between my phone 
and the Nordic proximity tag that I have here. I select the proximity and start Wireshark again. The device is uh, advertising and I will start the connection and the pairing. The connection is established and I will apply a filter. The filter is empty package out and then now I can look for the pairing process. You can find it here and any package after the pairing should be encrypted. I can check it and yes it's encrypted. So it's, uh, it's a very quick tutorial on the Swiffer, very basic one. You can find much more information, tip and trick and tutorial in the Swiffer user guide. And also you can post your question on our website, including the developer zone or technical support portal. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed your sniffer.